and I think we're good to go. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Uh, so sorry for the bit of delay. Ori2 can be um, a bit uncooperative when it comes to recording. So yeah, uh, this is gonna be Ori2, any percent unrestricted. It's a really fun run to say the least, so without further ado, I think we can get going. Uh, so the run will start once again as I click on easy mode. So the run will start in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so uh, I'm once again joined by Moose, who has never seen this run, so... <laughs> so I... Like, just to, to clear that up, I, I have run this game, uh, I run it quite a lot on release. Yeah. Um, but the game has been patched multiple times over and a lot of things have been found. I haven't touched it for almost a year at this point. Yeah. So I'm kind of excited to see what it is like now. I have no idea what to expect. So this route is also a week old, so... <laughs> really? so, so the first thing we do is... Uh, Exit the game out of that cutscene so that we can get control instantly. Uh, thankfully for this one, we don't need the UI to be off because uh, there's not a lot of abilities that we're going to be using and not a lot of dialogue. I apologize in advance if my re drops frame. Uh, my game is uh, installed on a HDD, so whenever it loads, sometimes it just... Eh. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to get down to get this torch and... Torches are really powerful. We can do what's called a torch hover up here. Whoops, I missed it. Huh. There we go. Okay, so we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go back up. I'm so curious to where this is gonna go. Yeah, uh, it's we gonna. We knew go this was possible from pretty early on, but we didn't know what it could be used for. Oh, don't worry, it will be used and abused. <laughs> Apparently, there is something cool. So you can do a, you can do a jump um, from that log over here, but it's much easier to just do this. And we're gonna go back and find a pole, because poles are really powerful items in this game. Um, so I'm gonna head to the left of spawn, uh, jump over this guy, and I'm gonna be hanging to this pole, and load the prologue memory and tab out of the game, and tab back uh, in. Uh, your game is not broken, this is perfectly normal. It's just playing the prologue, and I will be waiting for a specific audio cue in a second. Uh -huh. Coming up. All right, okay, it didn't work. That's fine, we can just try again. There's a save that's right next to it. Because this game auto saves, uh, it's a bit different from the first game where you can just place a save anywhere you want. All right, that was probably a late alt tab. All right. Oh, that was too quick. Okay, thank you, Teko. <laughs> <laughs> you learned this run yesterday, right? Yeah, it's a really easy to run uh, <laughs> game. Like, the run is really simple. There's not much to it. Oh, uh, one second. Okay, and now I'm oh. there. And I'm gonna be doing this. Uh, if I did this right, we're gonna see an orange box coming up. Uh, it doesn't That's look fine. like it. I can just try again. What am I looking at? So like, the idea is um, when you end the prologue state, so there's two things that you want to get. Is So the prologue state prevents you from voiding out, and obviously we're way out of bounds here, so we want this. And the second thing is that when we launch the prologue, um, we get in a weird state where the game just launches up or we really, really high. Yeah, shoutouts to Teko for finding this route. Alright. Oh, come on, man. 
this route can be kind of finicky sometimes. Like, it just refuses to work and no one really knows why. Okay. Am I really late? It really doesn't feel like it. Oh, it uses the Y value from the vine that already stuck to. Okay, that's interesting. Still on PV pace. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, it looks like the uh, timer was accidentally reset. Oh, it's my bad. Whoops. Which means uh, that this is gonna be even bigger of a PV. Yep. <laughs> So, I have a good feeling about this one. We should see the orange box. Yep, there it is. So, now I'm gonna do three minutes of hovering at a very specific timing. So, if you have time for. Yep, if you have time for donations, then this is a good time. <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, first of all, we have a $5 donation from a chocolate orange that says last $5 for EM4, which actually does meet the Extreme Measures 4 for the 80s relay. Uh, Incentive. So, thank you very much. A chocolate orange. We also have a $50 donation from Spirialis that says, Any guessers, frog champ? <laughs> uh, chat, am I early or late here in the hovering? I think I might be a bit early. I'm not sure. So who finds this and decides to, to spam attack for three minutes straight? Uh, that's like... Teko. Oh, I'm early? Okay, that's good. I can just fold down more. That's Very Teko. Cool. He's in chat right now. Shoutouts to Teko. He did a lot of glitch finding. Uh, basically everything that we know about this game is Teko. You cheated not only the game but yourself. So, sorry, you can go back to donations now. And I just want to, again, emphasize that we really want this uh, Swag Dude GeoGuessr 3 Battle Royales at once. So if you, we only need 100 more dollars for that incentive. So if we can get our donations in for that, that would be epic. Yo, Rin, can I ask what this orange box is? Uh, it's some scene background from the game. I'm not sure. I think it's from Prologue? Question mark? Uh, we're going to the end of the game. Why is it turning purple? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, the ending cutscene trigger is somewhere around here. Um, and we're gonna be hovering all the way to it. Yeah, because where else would it be? Obviously, yeah. it's right yeah. here. Uh, whoops, this is way too high. Okay. Gotta adjust my positioning. So I stopped running this game probably a month after it released, and it was already really broken at that point, but this is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really funny. And there's my that's visual cue. So I'm just gonna fall down, and that's the end of the game. Oh, it's not really time coming up. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> yep, I'm sure. <laughs> yep. We just defeated Shriek and won the game. Oh my god. Yep. It's it's not over, oh. guys. There's still three minutes of cutscenes. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> so yeah, that's an interesting run. Obviously, spoilers. If you haven't seen this, go play this game, by the way, it's amazing. I want to say this is the first game ever where I had to use a tissue while playing a game. <laughs> it's so sad. It's, it's amazing. My eyes are closed as we speak. I'm not watching a thing. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh, Windows has got an update for me. I guess I will have to wait another time. <laughs> this is the second game ever that actually made me cry playing it. Yeah, it's... It's really good. It is. But not First good. game to make Rin sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like a happy sad kind of way, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's like... It's a really good conclusion to the game. Definitely. It's just really powerful, I wouldn't say it's sad. Yeah, that's... Yeah, the presentation is just... Incredible. 
Yeah. Visually and and musically. Yeah, it's really different from the first game, but it's really good in its own way. Yeah, the beginning of, Zor of Ori 1 was also really sad, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is 200% motion blur. I just had to. Oh, why? <laughs> I had to. Also, listen to this music for a bit. Oh, don't worry, Tris. You're not even at the saddest part. Even though uh, this is already kind of sad, right? But there is more coming up. Alright, so now I'm gonna press space once and hold D. And time will be coming up when uh, Ori reaches Sire, which is the orange light. Yeah, credit music's also really good, but I prefer how emotional this is. Kind of a reminder to the first game as well. This is the same stuff that you go through after prologue in Ori 1. I'm holding the as hard as I can, okay? <laughs> oh god, I'm I'm still getting chills from that ending. <laughs> All right, time's coming up soon, and time. So yeah, that was um, that was Ori two. Uh, it's uh, interesting, to say the least. But yeah, uh, pretty broken game, play it, and thank you guys for having me. And thank you so much for uh, adding two extra things to your originally scheduled run. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. I really like this. So, oh yeah, also one thing I wanted to mention is that I learned this run in like one hour, so you also can do this at home. Just like, watch a top run and do the exact same thing, there's a bunch of visual cues. It's it's really not hard. Uh, and if you- oh, there's still the, the visual cues to the right, <laughs> like the boxes. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh. <laughs> and if you want to learn this game, um, there's a bunch of resources on the SRC page, Ori underscore DE. We also have a Discord that you can join. The community there is really, really kind and heartwarming. Uh, and they're always happy to help out new runners. So please do make sure to drop by and we will be happy to help you. And that's all I had to say. Oh, also shout outs to the French community. <laughs> and thank you guys. Thank you so much, Ren, for not only the, the, the two runs you just did, but also the run earlier was, was incredible. <laughs> it's been, it's been awesome to have you. Thank you. Thank you guys for organizing this. So, and with that, I think we are ready to transition away to our mission. So we will catch you later, Ren and Moots. All right. Good luck on the rest of Marathon. Bye. Yo. <laughs>